Hey everybody, this is Try Dying to Live here playing Kerbal Space Program, and I just finished up uh, making a video about uh, a shuttle, which is basically a space plane that you launch with a rocket. And everyone said, hey, now that you've launched a plane with a rocket, why don't you launch a rocket with a plane? And so I'm going to show you guys um, a design I came up with. Works pretty cool. Um, pretty pretty efficient. I pretty much, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly pleased with it. Um, and so I came up with this. This is our rocket, which is basically just... Um, um, capsule, uh, the rocket capsule, parachute, decoupler, advanced SES, three tanks, and a vectoring engine. My favorite engine probably in the whole game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put here um, a pair of mirrored... Hey, you didn't mirror very good. <laughs> Let's try that again. There we go. A pair of mirrored uh, radial decouplers. Um, and then we're going to grab an empty tank and another empty tank and then we're going to have a full actual proper tank so um hey would you attach do it come on come on you know you want it there we go um and then finally there we go so there's there's you know kind of our start here now obviously we're going to need to attach this uh, together so that it's not all wobbly like crazy and uh, you know what if two engines are good I think more engines are actually better so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this um, let's see here which one do I want they're both about the same um, this uh, this uh, I can't even pronounce it. we're not gonna try um, put that there um, and then I'm gonna take actually this uh, let's see here this small hard point stick this here another nacelle Come on, bounce on there. I'm trying to get this lined up properly. It's hard to tell. Are you lined up properly? Yeah, you look good. All right. And uh, we'll go ahead and grab another one of these. Put that on there. Are you even again? Nope, you're down low. It's hard to tell. Click. One more click. All right. And one more nacelle. Put that on. Okay, you get on there. Get on there. There we go. All right. Uh, that's good enough. We'll grab our uh, high altitude engines. One, two, three. So that's actually eight engines total. And we're actually going to use these tanks right here. We're not going to need a ton of fuel. Uh, we are, however, going to want some lift. So we're going to put wings on the end here. Is right? Is that right? They look good? That's straight. Um, we'll grab uh, control surface. I don't feel very good with the placement of those, but that's okay. Um, let's see, press A, get those all balanced out there, move that to the end there. Um, make sure that this is, you know, nice and solid here. I don't want to have bits flying everywhere. Whoops, I did that wrong. Where did you go? I don't know where he actually got attached to. Let's do another one. <laughs> I don't know where that attached. There we go. So that should keep that all nice and steady. Um, we'll go ahead and put some canards on here. And we're going to keep this nice and straight just because, uh, actually, yeah, we'll keep it straight. Um, just because we can, we'll keep it nice and balanced. We're not going to use anything, um, any uh, rudders or anything like that. Uh, we are going to use some wheels. And I like to put some wheels uh, here as well as out here just to keep the thing from tipping over. Uh, that's that's a bad thing, and of course we're gonna put some in the front here. Oop. And I actually did this wrong on the back wheels because I don't actually want these on the rocket itself. I want them out here because basically when the, this detaches, you will be left with just a rocket and no remnants of you know the vehicle itself. All right, so everything looks good. Let's see, these will separate fine. Yeah, that looks that looks right. I think that's right. Yep. All right, so let's uh. Let's take it out for a spin. Let's see how this works, how we get an orbit going. Now you may be wondering, okay, why why eight engines? The fact is um, we just want enough. We want to get up high and we want to get going fast. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the main important thing. High, fast. We does, we're, not gonna, we're not going for distance or anything like that. We just need 
to you know get the speed up, get it up and going. Uh, so we're going down here. We're using the advanced SAS, and so it acts a little differently. So you got to watch out for that. Um, it kind of kind of locks it in a kind of a different way. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna slowly get this guy up here. Um, you don't have any control when the SAS is on, so you got to kind of eat you know turn on and off the SAS. Um, but we're launching almost straight up in the air because. Remember, by the time these rockets are gonna, we're, are these these jet engines, I should say, are out of power, um, the rocket is actually going to be still only uh, 1,600 meters, um, or I should say 16,000 meters or 16 kilometers um, in the air, um, and so it's not, you know, you're not, you're you still are burning upwards. You're not going to be doing your sideways burn just yet. I'm going to go ahead and try to get ourselves burning up just a little bit more here. Um, hopefully we don't wing stall and fall out. If you if you launch it straight up, um, it can kind of wing stall and fall out of the sky. Now you see here, we're running out of fuel pretty quick, but it's okay because we're at 13 kilometers, 14 kilometers. I mean, we are way, way, way up in the air. Um, I'm actually going to drag this engine down here so that it fires at the same time we press space. Um, and we're actually at about 20 kilometers. We're about out of power anyway. Um, the engines are done. So by the time we lost power on the engines, like it they really ran out of fuel, they were already out of atmosphere. And we're at 22 kilometers, which is, you know, way high um, for a jet engine. I mean, we're, you know, it's it it's done its more its job. And we're out of the thickest part of the atmosphere. So it only takes a couple tanks of fuel. Um, and in fact, let's see here. Let's look at the map view here. Yeah, we're actually we're actually getting pretty close here. We can actually just start, um, you know, teasing it on out. Teasing our orbit on out. Um, now, this is a nice thing to do. Obviously, um, if you want like a moon mission type thing, it may be a little more difficult for you to pull that off. And that's all right. You know, it just depends on what you want to do. Um, but, but irregardless... Um, you know, this is this is a, a fun little thing that you can do. You know, a jet to rocket takeoff, um, and so we'll we'll play this video out until we get to a nice orbit, just to show you uh, how much fuel you have to play with, and uh, basically, you know, three three engines um, to get out, and it's not a big deal. And you can even do a multi stage where you actually add more things to the end. It should work fine. You have to watch with your wheels. Uh, if you notice, the reason why I had um, and those empty tanks at the front was so I could put canards and wheels up there. Um, and those, you know, they're pretty much optional. Not double speed here. Um, those are pretty much, you know, sort of optional, but it helps a lot. I mean, you got a lot of engines that are pushing you around, um, but it, it, you know, it just, it just depends on which, what you you know, you you want to do. Um, let's go towards 90. That's what I want to do. Double speed, it's harder to control it. But anyways, all right, so that's that's moving on out there. How much fuel do we have left? Uh, not, not a whole lot to maneuver with, but there's there's plenty enough, you know. You're not going to run out of fuel by any means, and I'm not actually doing this, you know. I should be staying closer to the apoapsis, and, uh, paraapsis, and whatnot. So if I were actually to follow the apoapsis out, I could push the paraapsis out and whatnot. Um, Actually, X do that, um, but we'll have it. You have about a tank to work with, which is you know that's plenty of for a ship this size. That's plenty, um, and of course you can you can you know um, retro burn and return. You could probably do a, a a flyby of the moon or Minmus or whatnot. Um, I'm not quite sure. I'm not. I haven't tried it yet. I just was trying to get you know a a jet powered rocket. But anyways, there's a cool simple thing you can do. Obviously, you could probably add more rocket engines until the wings just rip off. You could add more tanks until you get so heavy, um, but it makes for for a nice, uh, just fun, easy, lightweight um, jet to rocket. Uh, I should say a, a jet powered rocket launch, whatever. It's cool. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I do lots of videos like this, as well as Minecraft videos. We have a lot of fun here and silly things. Um, and in the meantime, hey, thank you guys who have subscribed. And thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.